Hey everybody, Joey here, back with another edition of The Comics Run. I'm breaking down the noteworthy comics for the week of April 16th, so let's take a look. This is the big one, ladies and gents. DC Comics launches their first large-scale crossover event with Night of the Owls and Batman number 8. But fear not, if you're not reading any other titles other than Batman, you won't be lost. This is a self-contained story, it just so happens to bleed into other books. Better yet, this issue starts the new backup feature that unites the American vampire team of Scott Snyder and Raphael Albuquerque in Gotham City. For those of you disappointed in the current Green Arrow series, Jeff Johns has got a treat for you this week in Justice League number 8. This issue tells the story of why Oliver Queen has never been a member of the team. More importantly, Johns makes good on the promise of revealing why there's beef between Green Arrow and Aquaman, who apparently has denied Oliver membership time and time again. Vertigo delivers a new original graphic novel called Shooters this week, a 21st century war story about a hardened soldier that suffers a terrible accident and has to confront his own personal war at home. It's gotten great buzz thus far and features art from the fantastic Steve Lieber, so if you're looking for something a little different this week, this is the answer. At Marvel, Avengers vs. X-Men continues with issue number two as the Avengers storm the X-Men on Utopia. Wolverine is still a wild card in this fight, being both an X-Man and an Avenger. Personally, I'm hoping he sides with the Avengers simply because I love watching the rift grow between Scott and Logan. Plus, I love Wolverine and the X-Men and want it to remain awesome forever. And speaking of crossover events, the Omega Effect continues this week in The Punisher number 10. I imagine that nothing makes Frank Castle cringe more than having to work with two law-abiding Avengers, particularly when it means he can't be blowing people away. But that's exactly why I want to read this issue. At IDW Publishing, everyone's least favorite Ninja Turtle gets a spotlight issue with TMNT Micro Series number 4. I don't know if it's his self-righteous attitude, his teacher's pet demeanor, or just my hatred of the color blue, but Leonardo's always been a lame duck for me. However, I'm banking on this issue to change my mind. Plus, this issue features the first fight between the Turtles and the Foot Clan, so that's pretty awesome too. So that's all for this week, but check out comics.ign.com for more information on these books and much more, or follow me on Twitter at Joey Esposito, and I will see you next time.